Water is the lifeblood of our planet. From high mountain ridges to deep sea marine environments, it seems to flow relentlessly. Water is indispensable for life and critical for economic development. We depend on it for a number of ecosystem goods and services, such as transport, tourism, and recreation, and for safe drinking water and land and ocean-based food production. The majority of the world's oceans, rivers, lakes, and groundwater ecosystems are shared between two or more countries. With the world population projected to exceed 9 billion by 2050, there are increasing concerns over the availability, distribution, access and sustainability of water, food and energy, and their resilience in the face of increasing climate variability and change. A key force behind a paradigm shift in water management has been the Global Environment Facility, or GEF. The GEF is a partnership for international cooperation where 180 plus countries work together with international institutions, civil society organizations, and the private sector in partnering to address global environmental issues, including those in international waters. The TDA SAP process illustrates GEF support for a science to policy framework that fosters transboundary cooperation and supports regional security. Over 30 strategic action programs have now been endorsed globally in these freshwater and marine systems. Globally, intensification of agriculture and industry, as well as urban expansion, has led to an increase in fertilizers, untreated wastewater, and industrial effluent entering freshwater ecosystems, and eventually, the sea. These excessive loads of nutrients stimulate overgrowth of plants and algae, which, when they die, deplete oxygen in these coastal areas, leading to low oxygen or dead zones. Integrated water resource management provides a solution by encouraging joint management by all sectors, including industry, government ministries, and communities. One of the GEF's most successful integrated water resource management projects brought together 17 countries along the Danube Black Sea Basin to fight dead zones in the Black Sea caused by agricultural, municipal, and industrial runoff. Reaching its peak in 1990, 40,000 square kilometers of the Black Sea was effectively considered dead. Species were disappearing, and losses from tourism, fishing, and other industries were estimated at 500 million US dollars per year. A series of UNDP implemented regional projects, together with national level World Bank implemented projects, all financed by the GEF, helped the governments come together to address the problems. The project reinforced regional cooperation of the Danube countries and supported development of national policies and legislation and the definition of priority actions for pollution control. This has not only brought the Black Sea back to life, it has also allowed the region to move towards political and economic security. Another key focus area of GEF has been the demonstration of community-driven and low-cost innovative solutions to manage water quality and coastal ecosystems. Throughout the Caribbean, improvements in environmental practices and initiatives such as cleanup days and replanting in the watersheds have not only improved agricultural production and incomes, but achieved key environmental benefits such as reducing pollution and soil runoff into rivers. In St. Lucia, large constructed wetlands have reduced pollution loading into groundwater by up to 90%. Similarly, in the small island developing nations of the Pacific, GEF Finance, together with UNDP and UNEP implementation, has helped to demonstrate and introduce low-cost composting toilets to conserve water and protect fragile groundwater tables from contamination. Across the world, issues in these water systems remain the same. People have to feed their families and make a living, whilst the other vital services that water provides humanity must continue to function unhindered. For this, it is clear that transboundary cooperation is essential, albeit complex to achieve. Experience has taught us that if we work together, from ridge to reef and community to cabinet, we can indeed secure our economies, food and environment for the future. Many challenges remain, and continued commitment to GEF's International Waters Program is vital.